Even though Phasmophobia was delayed partly due to an in-office fire, we've had a banger month for PSVR 2 in August, and now we're in September. So what lies ahead of us in this month? Well, I'm here to count us down through the games coming out in September of 2023 on the PSVR 2. Let's start with Toss, a weird platformer where you play as a monkey swinging between branches and other platforms and getting bananas as you complete levels. This one looks incredibly strange and very much like a quest game because it primarily is a quest game. But if you're looking for some platforming fun that probably won't be too expensive, Toss will have you covered with a very weird monkey themed game. The visuals are pretty bright and colourful, and I would be surprised if this wasn't running at a native 90Hz, so it will probably be a very smooth experience, and if you've ever wanted to do monkey bars in VR, well this has got you covered. It might make you a bit motion sick though, looking at the trailer really does show that a bit. On September 14th, we have Alvo, the upgrade to PSVR 2. Alvo was brought into life on the PSVR actually, and it was an arcade style shooter, which was primarily made for the AIM controller, although it was playable via the two move controllers. The game had incredibly arcadey mechanics, but quite a lot of maps, a zombies mode, PvP modes, and all that good stuff. And it genuinely was a lot of fun because there wasn't really another COD alternative on the original PSVR headset. But now that we've got the full-blown Pavlov on PSVR 2, is Alvo gonna stand a chance? I believe if you own Alvo on the PSVR, this upgrade will come at a measly £5 upgrade, which is very good. But for those looking to jump into a VR shooter for their headset, it's going to be quite an easy decision, I think, between Alvo and Pavlov. Although Alvo is a lot faster paced, so we'll see. There might be two markets for it. Anyway, that's coming September 14th to PSVR 2. A game that I wasn't actually aware of until now is also coming September 14th, and this is called Behind the Frame VR. It's by by Miyazaki, an incredible director who I love so much. Behind the Frame is essentially a point and click adventure, but with paint. So you follow an artist as she relives events from her past and navigates her life while focusing on finishing her painting masterpiece. This genuinely seems like an incredibly intriguing premise. The art style looks really cute. I'm a very big fan and would like to see more of this. If I get the opportunity to cover this, I'll be sure to jump right in. Also on September 14th, God, this is a packed day, we have Gazzlers, which is a very strange on-rail shooter, which is a roguelike inspired game. So you'll complete challenges while going through these on-rail sections, collecting essentially credits, but they're called scrap in this game, upgrading your skills like you do in roguelites, and taking on enemies in search of the final station, which is your objective. It's coming on basically every single platform under the sun, and therefore looks a little basic because, you know, it's there for the quest too, but I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun for people who like their on-rail shooters. We never seem to be able to get enough of those on the headset. That's also coming September 14th. On September 18th, we have Ruins Magus Complete. This is a fantasy RPG dungeon crawler, clearly inspired by several anime series, where you take your party of characters through dungeons, fighting enemies in first person. It looks like a lot of fun. It reminds me a lot of Zenith, and it's got a very cool hub area outside where you can do things like take pictures, speak to NPCs, and for all you anime fans and fans of SAO and other isekai like that, I'm sure you'll get a kick out of this one coming September 18th. As the complete edition, it also comes with the DLC called The Warrior and the Tailor, which came in the game's remix update. This one will be one to look out for if you're a fan of those anime inspired games. Finally, we have a 1v1 dueling game coming to PSVR 2 with Broken Edge on September 19th. This has both offline and online play where you 1v1 an opponent, essentially in a fencing match, which I'm a huge fan of because I used to fence a little bit, destroying your opponent's weapon bit by bit before you can kill them, finally. This looks really awesome and I can't wait to jump in and have a look. We haven't had anything like this on a headset and for me, it looks like a must buy. On September 21st, we also have Hellsweeper VR, a massively intense action game where you fly around using powers, swords, the entire lot to kill demons, conjure weapons using a gesture based system or using magic while killing enemies in these fiery hellscape environments. People who played the demo for this one said it was incredibly fun and I'm so excited to jump into it September 21st. I don't think I'll ever get enough of melee combat games, and at the moment that is a genre that is slightly lacking on PSVR 2, so honestly, bring on Hellsweeper, I know a lot of people are excited for this one, myself included. On September 27th, we have the port of Paper Beast to PSVR 2. This is one I never actually got the chance to try on the original PSVR headset, but now it's being brought over to PSVR 2, filled with origami-like creatures and amazing enhanced visuals with HDR and smooth locomotion that wasn't available on the previous platform. 
The game looks genuinely stunning. I think the art style is going to be a very large trip when you're playing it in VR. I can't wait to jump in and have a look at this one. It's going to be an opportunity as I'd hoped, to jump into some old games that came to PSVR but I never got to try out and to try them out for the first time with amazing visuals. Coming September 27th. I also just want to throw in at the end here, we've got two updates coming in September that I know of. And I also want to say we just got the update for the Light Brigade yesterday, coming with a bunch of new weapons, classes and levels, so I'll be covering that at some point soon. But if you haven't checked it out and weren't aware of it, there was an update to the game yesterday as of the time of recording. It should be yesterday actually from the time of publishing, not recording. But yeah, jump into that one if you haven't already. The Light Brigade is a phenomenal game and it's got even more content packed in this update. But coming in September on the 7th, we have the next Walkabout mini golf course. This one takes place in Alfheim and it looks incredibly cool. I can't wait to jump in. Those guys always pack their levels full of detail and they come out very frequently as well, which is absolutely incredible. We've also got the update to see Smash VRS in the middle of the month on the 14th. This promises to add a load of new stuff in terms of modes and endless mode, a bunch of new content, and it really throws a lot more levels at the player. I haven't jumped into C Smash yet, but I think that will be my opportunity to when the new update jumps out, and I can't wait to check it out. Really seems like releases are ramping up for the PSVR 2, and there are even more coming in October, such as Phasmophobia, but we'll cover that when we get to the month of October. Anyway, I hope you did all enjoy. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.